Hi everyone, I wanted for a long time to make some videos about inspiring people. They will give you some advice, some tips about how to boost your lifestyle, how to boost your mindset, your happiness, your wellness in your personal and professional life. And I think I found the perfect person to begin with. It is Julia Browers. Hi Julia, can you present yourself? Can you tell us about your life, your struggles and your proudness? Hi, my name is Julia Browers and I feel very honored to, um, to contribute in Anne-Sophie, her platform. I think it's great what she tries to do and of course I want to support this. So I'm coming from a small city above uh, Amsterdam, living in the Netherlands all my life. And uh, when I was younger, I used to be a professional swimmer. I used to be a Dutch national champion in the relays with three other ladies. And yeah, actually everything was always going up according to plan. Um, I used to uh, never really think that my life was going so well unless until one day um, when I was 14 years old I was sitting in class I tried to stand up and all of a sudden my legs gave out so I became paralyzed from my hips to my toes and I couldn't move them anymore obviously this has changed my whole life my whole perspective and everything uh, all my approaches in life um, however I always tried to remain positive. Um, ever since that day that it happened, my whole life changed and I uh, couldn't swim anymore, I couldn't do any sports anymore and I've been trying to find a diagnose for over seven years. Uh, it's been a long journey and ever seven, after these seven years I found out that I have a condition uh, called EDS. It's a connective tissue disorder and it causes uh, me a lot of pain and therefore, um, yeah, trouble with walking, sitting long, longer times and standing longer times. Uh, this means that I used to walk behind the walker when I go outside. And for longer distances, I sit in a wheelchair. I think I can be very proud on the way that I handle this. I think what this disease or what this situation has taught me is that life is very short. You never know what's happening tomorrow. So you really need to, however, this is very cliche, of course, but you really need to enjoy every moment. And uh, me waking up every morning in pain really shows me like, okay, what is my energy gonna be today? What is it that I want to do today? And it really makes me grateful for the smaller things in life. And um, yeah, obviously it has been a very, very big struggle as well, since I used to be very healthy. I used to be able to do everything and all of a sudden I wasn't anymore. So that really gives you a big perspective in how life also can be. And uh, it used to be a struggle for me not to be able to do sports because I, I really love sports. Um, but on the other hand, I found my, my joy in other things. And I, try, I think it's very important to always seek for the things that you do have and what you can do. And then find something that you feel very happy doing. And um, yeah, make the best out of it. What do you think about the interaction between professional and personal life? Do you think they can be boosters to each other? I think it's very um, important for uh, work life and personal life is that you do something that you love, obviously. Um, and when you have a job that you check in with yourself and check like, hey, am I still doing the right things? Is it still making me happy? Do I have things that I that stress me out for such a long period already that I can maybe possibly change. Um, I think it's important to always um, check with your, yourself, like I said, um, if things are still making, uh, making you happy. And also, if not, just try to make some small changes to see what kind of things can do make a difference and what can still make you happy. Um, also, it's important to still have enough personal time so you can still do the things that you really like in your in your alone time and try to really leave work for what it is in your days off. Um, I sometimes struggle with that, to be honest, but I think that's very important to keep um, a happy life. Tell me three tips to boost happiness and wellness in your professional or personal life. My three things, uh, tips to boost your happiness and wellness in professional and uh, personal life are focus on the positive. That would be my number one. I always try to think no matter how rough the day can be or no matter how much pain I can be in, 
or things that can go wrong I try to see like okay let's see what's positive today and there's always so much to to be thankful for you know um, so that's really important I think I think it's also very important to surround yourself with the right people the people that give you energy um, the people that understand you if you're tired or if you you just want to have a great fun you know um, yeah I think that's very important and also try to have um, try to have fun or try to find some time for yourself so when you when you wake up every morning that you just look at your schedule and you think like okay what can I do today that's really uh, something that just for me you know if you like cooking reading books watching TV walking your dog uh, it could be anything um, try to do at least one thing a day that really makes you happy and that will really boost your happiness and wellness I think Tell me three free resources you love in your daily life. The things that I do are taking warm baths. I literally take a warm bath probably almost every day. Um, that really gives me this moment for myself where I can relax, read some books, listen to podcasts. And uh, I really always enjoy that. Things that I also do are um, watching inspiring videos. Um, I love reading books, I love reading um, yeah, interesting things that are really like um, my passion, where my passion lays. I love cooking and I also um, really love to be with friends and family, um, to walk my dog, I really uh, really love enjoying uh, being with my doggy and um, yeah I think it's very important to, to always, like I said before, to always find the things and the time to put your energy in where it also gives you energy back, you know? So um, these are the things that I do for myself. And to finish, can you tell me three things you're grateful for today? The things, the three things that I'm thankful for today are my health. Um, um, it sounds a bit weird maybe because I'm sick, but I'm always super, super grateful for the fact that I'm alive. Um, I'm okay, I'm doing well. And I think uh, it's good to uh, every morning to wake up with that thought like, hey, it's going to be a new day. We're going to make the best out of it. I'm uh, very grateful today for seeing my family again. Um, yeah, so that's always making me very happy to be surrounded with my family and the people that I love. And today, especially, I'm also very, very thankful for all the wonderful people in my life, all the friends that I've met, people that I uh, randomly met, uh, people on the streets that I've said hi to or they smiled at me and I smiled back. Uh, these are the things that I'm very happy, happy and grateful for today. Thank you, Julia. Personally, I'm grateful for having you today. So thank you for your answers, your great tips. And of course, thank you for taking the time to share your inspiring life with us. Thank you so much, Anne-Sophie, for having me. I hope I, um, I have given you some good tips and advices um, on happiness and I think you're really doing a great job so keep doing what you're doing and thank you again for having me bye bye if you liked this video don't forget to like it comment it and share it on your social media I wish you all an amazing day bye